What's up guys, Skittle Rampage here. So today we have more Funko News updates, including new announcements, some drops, and closer looks. So let's check it out. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. It is a nice little Friday and hope you're having a great day. The weekend is now upon us and I hope you enjoy yours. Now today we do have a good deal of Funko news to go over a lot of drop information, some new things coming soon and a bunch of other stuff. So make sure to stay tuned for that. Firstly, we do have our question of the day and that is name a Funko Pop in your collection if you can that has like skeleton like features and I'm gonna go with fully holified Ichigo. I don't believe hollows are like skeletons I, if I'm not mistaken, but since it kind of looks like a skeleton, I'm going to count it. All right, so first things first, let's jump into some of the new stuff that was recently announced. First up, for any Shazam fans, we do have Shazam movie Funko Sodas. This does include most of the main cast as well as some of the villains there, which is pretty nice. And what's cool about these sodas is the fact that the Chase version is actually their regular human form, which I thought was kind of cool. Like... I would be kind of mad if I got the chase, other than Billy Batson. To be honest, I don't really care about the other characters. I actually saw the movie last night. I didn't love it, but it was like a good kind of like feel good watch, I guess. But I didn't think it was like necessarily a great movie, to be honest. That's just me though. Let me know how you guys feel about the movie or if you're going to see it. But I think these Funko sodas are cool, but I do have a really good feeling that these might be shelf warmers. So if you want to wait for them to go on discount later, there's a very high probability of that. Plus it does look like they're doing the same thing with these sodas where they don't actually have any piece counts. So we don't know if it's higher or lower, for example. So again, another thing that's really turning people off to Funko sodas lately. Either way, these Shazam sodas do have a June ETA. And if you guys want to pre-order any of them, check out the link down below. Now this wasn't announced by Funko today, but it did drop over on GameStop. And we do have a Killer Clowns Funko Collectors box here, including four Blacklight characters, a keychain, and four pens there. Now, this one does have a July 4th ETA, and the box is actually pretty cool. I really, really like that, to be honest. Also, I don't believe it's sold out just yet, so if you want to head over to the website, you can still pre-order it. I think it's a kind of cool little collector's box for any horror fans. Now, also dropped over at GameStop today, we did have the Rui from Demon Slayer Pop and Tea Bundle. Now, this is a glow-in-the-dark version of the common, and based off the glam glow, it is supposed to have like a full blue glow with some green accents there. But when you saw the actual pop, it was like really weird because only parts of it were glowing or maybe they didn't shine the flashlight on enough. I don't know though. It is a good chance that this one could glow better than this picture does actually, so we'll have to see. Now this one does have an April 20th ETA, still available for pre-order right now, hasn't sold out just yet. Now lately, tea bundles have been getting more and more expensive. I do believe after shipping and tax and everything, depending on your state, this one's like 41, $42 after everything. Very, very expensive. If this one doesn't sell out, there is always a good chance that these tea bundles will go on discount later for like $25, sometimes even less. So in my opinion, I feel like this one is a good one to wait on. I personally wanted the glow in the dark Rui over the regular common. Um, so I might wait till this one goes on discount to pick it up because I just don't feel like it's worth $42. Now something else that was interesting about this Rui announcement was the fact that the box actually shows the older GameStop black sticker versus the newer red one. But again, like this photo does show, we're actually going to receive it with the red sticker. So I don't want anybody to get confused there. They've completely retired that black GameStop sticker, I'm pretty sure. So we should be getting the red sticker for any confusion. Now it does appear that Funko is still going strong on the full ahead train of Disney 100 Facet Pops. I think that's how you say, am I saying that wrong or right? Someone let me know down. Is it Facet? Facet? Is some like how do you say that design name? Anyways, though, we do have a brand new Tinkerbell Funko Shop exclusive. Now, this is set to release later on, maybe another month or two from now, but I do think the crystal like texture really works for her, to be honest. So, this one turned out really great. Now, personally, unless they do like anime or maybe like a Spider Man one, I'm not really too interested in this line, but I think it is a really unique design. I just hope they don't go overboard, but so far we already have like four. Next up for any Funko NFT fans, we do have our next Funko NFT drop happening on March 28th, and that is Hanna-Barbera X Funko. Now on that Tuesday, these will be going live at 11 a.m. PT as usual. So far, we don't really have a look at all the redeemables. When I find those out, I'll share them in the future. But let me know, will you be going after this drop or passing on it? I do feel like this one has a either strong chance of selling out or not selling out. We're just gonna have to see how many packs are there. And of course, what the redeemables are looking like because that matters most. Now for any Five Nights at Freddy's fans, we do have first looks at the final addition to this circus set. We do have Circus Foxy in the Pop and Tea Bundle. Now for those wondering what's different about this one, this one is just a flocked version of a common and does come in that t-shirt bundle there. And this one is shared from Mummy Funko. Let me know down below, will you be picking this 
up or passing on it. It's not really anything crazy new here, to be honest. Okay, so over on the Funko shop today, we did have another One Piece drop, and that was Goldie Roger, and it did have that chase chance. So, this was actually a very big day for multiple reasons. One, One Piece fans very excited to go after Goldie Roger and have that chance at getting that chase, and two, to test Funko's new website. Now, very quickly, I do want to go over my experience with the website today. So, Essentially what happened with me was I was able to get two this time. I missed out on Luffy last time, but I was able to get two Goldie Rogers fairly easy, might I add, fairly easy for some reason. I'm not exactly sure why because so many other people had tons of issues that I've ran into in the past as well. But this time for some reason, I refreshed, I clicked add two to my cart, and then it kind of like struggled for a second and it wouldn't load and I had to click it a couple more times and then it finally loaded. Then it got to the checkout section, okay? And I clicked, you know, address, checkout, and all that stuff. I had to click it a couple more times. It kept loading for a second. I was really worried it was going to sell out. And then it said I got it. It was like, it was like a little annoying, but not crazy annoying like some of the last drops I've dealt with. And I don't know if that's a good or bad thing, to be honest, because basically a lot of people were experiencing issues where I actually saw Bailey as well. She was on there trying to get them for me too. Basically what happened with her and many other people was the fact that, um, it was like, okay, you have two minutes in the waiting pool, okay? And then it skipped over to 25 minutes. Some people were at 30 minutes, and I'm like, how does that even work? How do you go from two minutes to 30 minutes? Now, for some reason as well, Apple Pay seemed to be the best available payment method there. That seemed to work for everybody who used it, and it also seemed to be one of the fastest ways to check out. Obviously, not everybody has Apple Pay, but for those who do, I recommend maybe trying to use that in the future. Still, the website had a lot of issues going on with it. And this is a new website that they're trying out at the same time. So I am very curious on your experience today on the website. Some people had it very easy and were able to get in and get out in under a minute. And then some people struggled for a little bit, still made it through that 25 minute queue, might I add. Um, but then some people were also stuck in that 25 minute queue as well. So I don't know, everybody had a little bit of a different experience today, but there were definitely some problems here. One thing I was really worried about the website today was everybody who couldn't actually log into their account. So let me know down below, were you able to log into your account today or did that kind of hinder you from actually purchasing today? Overall, in my opinion, I don't think Funko should be dropping anything at all on their website. I think if anything, they should be focusing on fixing all the problems wrong with it and the Funko app and then worry about dropping stuff because if you're not fixing the quality of the website, then why would people even wanna shop there to begin with? And it obviously hinders people from buying things. Now, speaking of One Piece drops, Whitebeard is actually shipping out now from GameStop and the orders are arriving. I've seen people get a lot of chases, like some people getting five chases in their orders and some people getting no chases at all in their orders. It's kind of weird. And for those wondering, Crunchyroll so far has not shipped out their pre-orders. I hope they do it soon because how can Funko have stock then GameStop and Crunchyroll still haven't shipped out theirs? Now, moving on, I did wanna let you guys know for anybody interested in the the Indiana Jones style of Destiny movie, we will have a wave of Funko Pops, maybe like five or six from that movie, and they will be announced next month. Thank you, Distractors, for sharing that. Marvel fans, go ahead and take first looks at a new Wolverine Funko Shop exclusive comic cover here. This was actually pretty nice. Unfortunately, I like this one better than the other Wolverine comic cover I have, but I'll probably just stick with the original. I definitely don't need to, to be honest, but this one is really nice. Should be releasing on the Funko Shop in the future, so make sure to stay tuned. Next up for Marvel, spotted over on eBay, we do have first looks at a new Earth Day exclusive, possibly Box Lunch or possibly Walmart, and this is Poodle Groot here. Missed opportunity for this one to be flocked in my opinion. I, I don't know why they wouldn't go for that to be honest. But still, it is a pretty cool exclusive and if you're interested in this one, it should be releasing fairly soon. Now Disney fans, I did want to show you closer looks at some of the new Little Mermaid Funko Pops. And if you guys want to see them unbox, you can check them out over on Bailey's channel. She did do an unboxing video on the entire set. So we do have both Little Mermaid Funko Pops here. Her in a casual outfit as well as Little Mermaid and friends there in a pop deluxe moment. Definitely a very small one to be honest for the price point, but it did turn out pretty nice. We also have first looks at Ursula and Eric here. Again, these are pretty nice as well. Overall, I don't really care too much about this movie. I'm not much of a Disney person, but I'm gonna go see it with Bailey because she wants to see it in theaters. But yeah, I, I don't really have any interest in these pops personally, but let me know, will you be picking them up or not? Now, the last thing I wanna go over in this video are some quick Comic-Con news. So shared from Distrito Max over on Instagram, we do actually have in-person looks at Trafalgar Law with Polar Tang. This is a WonderCon exclusive releasing on March 24th in just about a week here. This one actually looks really nice, to be honest. Very excited about this one. I also noticed that it does actually have a base stand. Very scared that that or maybe the tiny little flag up top might break off because if you don't know, if you didn't order them, 
the, oh, they're over there, actually, you can't see them, but the Luffy on Going Merry and Luffy Thousand Sunny um, were actually arriving with broken pieces, if I'm not mistaken. I think, was that, was the Sunny arriving with broken pieces? Or was it just the Merry? I don't really remember. Mine never arrived with any broken pieces, thankfully. But can anybody remember if any Thousand Sunnies actually arrived with any damage? Off the top of my head, I don't remember them, but Going Merry definitely had a lot of broken mats. I'm just really hoping with Law that this one arrives intact and no broken pieces here. Now to say that I'm excited about this Law with Polar Tang is definitely an understatement but I'm very worried about the website. As you saw with Law today, lots of issues to be honest, and I hope they fix all these in the next week because you're gonna get a lot of unhappy fans come WonderCon if this drop is a disaster. I have a really good feeling that it's gonna be a disaster, I just hope not as much as I think. Now something else from WonderCon I did wanna share with you guys is Hedwig with Letter does seem to not be limited to 3,000 pieces like they did announce it to be. This one will just be a regular exclusive, which is very weird to be honest because they did this and then they did the one with the Moon Knight exclusive and it's just like how do you mess this up with two different exclusives either they're 3,000 pieces or not you know but I figured it was worth mentioning just so you know if anybody was interested in Hedwig well guys that's all the Funko news that we have for today if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to smash that like button down below if you guys have any other questions about anything we did discuss today also let me know down below to go ahead and end off this video I do want to say a big shout out to all the wonderful patreon supporters of the channel you guys absolutely rock for supporting myself and the channel if you guys want to check out the patreon the link is down below we have a patreon only discord where we share a lot of information news restock updates, links, and more. We also have a Facebook group with over 16,000 members that's buy, sell, and trade. And make sure to be following me on all my social medias at Skittle Rampage over on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and my Facebook page to stay up to date. All right, love you guys. See you guys in the next one. See you guys later. Bye.